two out of two. St. Peter's is 13 of 14 at the line in the second half. They lead it by four. I like the way they're still pressing right now. Timeout for Matt Painter and company. And they're going to set up their quick hitter. St. Peter's 63, Purdue 59. This month continues to produce drama. It is a reminder of what the NCAA tournament yeah. is all about. St. Peter's <laughs> is a small school. Yes. St. Peter's has a big school, Purdue, on the ropes right now with 38.1 left on the clock. And I'm wondering, I know Shaheen Holloway packed enough clothes for the weekend, but I wonder how many St. Peter's fans packed for the weekend. But they're in a position right now, they have to be careful from a strategy standpoint. I would think that Purdue would try to get a quick hitter here. They don't need a three. But if they, have, if they have Williams on the floor, maybe you punch one down to him in a hurry. If he's got it, fine. Then you kick it out if he doesn't have it to the perimeter. ED has not been a part of this. Right. It has been all Williams down the stretch. 38.1 to play. No field goals in the last nearly five minutes for Purdue. Ivy out front. Drive. Dish. They need it. Jumper. Hunter. Off the rim. No. Rebound and put back goes for Mason Gillis. It's a two-point game with 25.8 to play. Second great play that Gillis has made in this game. First when he went to the free throw line 30 seconds ago, and this time he gets this nice kick out to the corner. They're going for the three. And how about the rebound and finish? They come away with the offensive rebound, and the follow by Gillis cuts the St. Peter's lead to two. Matt Painter's wife, Sherry Purdue, down by a deuce, 25.8 on the clock. So, you want to get force this action into a corner if you can for a double team. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He handled it. Lee nearly lost it low. Triple team on Lee. Backs it out for Eddard. 18 seconds left. You're going to have to foul at some point. They're going in for a, a, a tie-up because they have the possession arrow, but it took too much time off the clock doing it. Three times they tried to go for it because they have the possession arrow instead of fouling under those circumstances. So they lose clock, and they send Daryl Banks the third to the free throw line where he shoots it at 85%. This will be his first attempts of the night. It is a three-point St. Peter's lead. 14.6 to go. You want to keep those shoulders rolling towards the basket in situations like this.